everyone, we're back here and I'm so excited to share with you this card. And look how beautiful that turned out with the little fine grains of salt on that water salt tutorial. I just love that effect, it looks so beautiful. So we're just gonna grab our mini Misty again one more time. Just gonna add those magnets to it. And today we're gonna be using our Plumeria stamp set. So we're just gonna see where we wanna line it up, just kinda see where we wanna go. Just going to press down to stick it on. And now we're going to use some of the black ink here. We're just going to ink it up quickly. And I'm going to do double stamping again. I just love this. It just makes it so rich and beautiful. And one more time. And wow, it just really pops out. Look how beautiful that is. And I'm going to do it one more time for a third effect. And it's just beautiful. I'm going to take that off and put it to the side to get clean. And I'm just going to line up my Paradise stamp set, my stamp from that set, the same stamp set. I'm just going to see, sorry for my head. <laughs> Make sure that it wasn't perfectly lined up. So I'm just going to line it up here and then just have another quick look. And it did not work again. So I just want to make sure that that's very perfect. I need my glasses. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and we're just going to ink it up again with that black ink. And press down and one more time and now we'll grab the wherever you make it sentiment and we'll just line that up at the bottom and then we'll ink that up twice for double stamping again perfectly easy love the misty and I hope that you guys invest in that too and the mini misty works just as well as the larger one too I can see that that's going to be my new favorite tool we'll just peel that off oh it doesn't want to come off and get that out of the way get rid of the ink and then you can also, you know, I added some sewing and then I distressed the sides and I'm using a foam dimensional here and I'm also adhered the inside with some more washi tape from earlier tutorial. And so there you have it. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial, guys. It's been a lot of fun showing you this watercolor salt technique. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me or leave a comment below. Thanks, guys.